Have you ever been playing through the Halo campaigns and noticed that some of the grunts are different colours or wearing different versions of armour and wondered what it all meant? Well, I know I have, so today we're going to be taking a look at all the grunt ranks known in the Halo lore. So let's get started. The Grunt Miner rank is the lowest rank a Grunt can obtain in the Covenant. Essentially being expendable infantry, Grunt Miners are one of, if not the most common enemy you might face in the Halo games. They wear a light orange armour with a methane breather built into it that kind of looks similar to scuba gear because the Grunts can't actually breathe oxygen, only methane. Although they are the weakest non-flood enemy type in the whole of the Halo games, Grunts can also be pretty lethal in large numbers, as seen in the Grunt Rebellion against the Covenant Empire in 2462, and even forcing the High Council to deploy an Arbiter to stop it all. But that's a story for another video. Grunt Majors are higher in rank than Grunt Miners, and can often be seen leading groups of Miners into battle. They are only slightly more powerful in terms of strength, morale and intelligence, However, being ranked higher than those Grunt Miners, these Grunts hold no power over any other forces in the Covenant society, as shown in the games when these teams of Grunts are being led by either an Elite or a Brute. They rock a red coloured variant of the Grunt armour and are the first enemy to ever wield a handheld fuel rod gun. This was first seen in the Combat Evolved Level 2 Betrayals when the Master Chief had destroyed the first Pulse Generator. The Grunt Ultra is the highest Grunt rank seen so far in the Covenant military. Like Elite Ultras, Grunt Ultras wear a distinct white coloured armour and can sometimes be seen commanding groups of lower class Grunts into battle, and some even seen leading black armoured special operations Grunts into combat. They usually display even more bravery in combat than a Spec Ops unit, and are more often used for specialised attacks rather than standard military operations. Grunt Ultra is a rare achievement for a Grunt, due to the fact they do have an incredibly high death rate. Grunt Ultras most likely get a great deal of respect from the other Grunts under their supervision, as their combat skill must be incredible for a Grunt. That or they're just extremely lucky. The Grunt Heavy is a medium-high Covenant Grunt military rank. This rank is designated for use of heavy weapons, turrets and small vehicles. They wear a green armour instead of the more common orange and red that you normally see. They can take more damage than Miners and Majors, however not as much as higher ranking Ultras. They will usually not run away from their position unless the player is too close to them or out of range of their weapons. Also, a side note, in Halo Reach they have a Methane Breather that covers their entire face, different to the regular one you see in other Halo games. The Special Operations Grunts are a part of the Special Operations Division of the Covenant. You'd think that with the Grunts being the expendable infantry and normally poorly trained for combat, they wouldn't be part of such an important division, but however this is not the case. These Grunts have been given proper training to acquire this special role, as they are genuinely tougher, smarter and way more aggressive than their lesser ranks. These Grunts wear a jet black armour which matches the armour of their elite commanders and sometimes it will be led by a Grunt Ultra. If a Spec Ops Grunt's leading elite is killed, Rather than panicking and running away like most of the Grunts would, they often will seek revenge, sending plasma grenades and plasma bolts accurately at the opponent who killed the Elite. These resilient, loyal and dangerous Grunts are not to be underestimated under any circumstances. These next ranks are similar to the last few but with some minor differences. The reason I am saying this is because these ranks are sort of revamped versions of the previous ones since 343 Industries took over from Bungie with Halo. So these next ranks are taken from the Covenant Remnants which took place after Halo 3's conclusion of the Human Covenant War. Storm Class Grunts are the lowest ranks forces of the Covenant Remnants and some of the most common in the faction. They have the same role as the traditional Grunt Miners from the original Covenant. A major difference between the two is that Storm Grunts do not wear face masks like their Covenant Empire counterparts, instead wearing a tube connecting to their nose. However, this is all I can really say about them without repeating myself from the minor rank. The Grunt Imperial rank are a group of experienced soldiers in the military, and even though the vast majority of Grunts exist outside this role, this class still holds substantial size within the Covenant. Although Imperial Grunts are typically outfitted with standard infantry weapons, they wear a more resilient armour which is red in colour and more protective face shielding offer them greater overall durability on the battlefield. Like all the other Covenant troops within the Ranger class, Grunt Rangers are specialists fully trained in armours for extravehicular activity. 
With engagement suits designed to withstand extreme temperatures, low to zero gravity, and other things found in the vacuum of space, this role is fully capable of EVA combat. And in accordance with the long-standing Covenant protocol, Grunt Rangers can also be deployed with terrestrial environments, where vertical mobility may be difficult for other classes due to challenges in terrain. These grunts wear a full bodysuit that is kind of a bluey grey, and a helmet that resembles the Spartan EVA helmet. The grunt bodyguard uses the same armour as the grunt heavy rank, however this armour is coloured white. It is the only known grunt rank to have a personal energy shield, which makes them harder to kill than your regular grunt. These ranks are almost always seen with legendary or mythic tier bosses in Halo 5 Guardians. They have a higher intelligence, accuracy and health than other grunts. Unlike normal grunts, these bodyguards do not panic and flee when their leader is killed. They always stay and finish the fight. And that is all the grunt ranks currently known in the Halo games. And who knows, maybe we'll see a few more ranks in Halo Infinite when it gets released. But anyway guys, thank you for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, make sure to hit that like button since it really helps me out, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next. That is all from me, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>